We have capital A there, the angle that we're looking for, and we have a length over here. So the little a over here, let's write down the side guideline. Side A equals, let's do C here, because C goes across there. So little c all over sine big C. That's the angle there. So here's the sine guideline. Let's put in the appropriate values. First of all, we have... The length here for little a, that's 12.5. Let's put that in. We have 12.5 all over sine a. That is the angle here in orange that we're looking for. Let's put that in here. And that's going to equal little c, which is right there opposite big C here, which is the angle. Opposite that directly in front. Let's put that in there is 8.4, let's put that in there. All over sine C, which is 36 degrees and 18 minutes. Okay, all we have to do now is to cross multiply as we normally do, that times that and that times that. So let's put that in. Okay, what do we do now? Well, we've got to divide both sides by what we want to eliminate. We want to eliminate this 8.4 so we can make the sign A the subject. So let me just mark out the subject. That's the subject that we want. Let's divide both sides by 8.4. That's going to yield for us sine A all by itself. all over the 8.4. Okay, we're going to use our calculator now and install it 12.5 times sine 36 degrees, 18 minutes. Now that top part is going to turn into 7.4. All over the existing that we're dividing by 8.4. Okay, so 7.4 divided by 8.4 on your calculator, when we divide that, that's going to give us a sine of 0.8097. Okay, now what do we do in this situation when we have a sine A equaling a big decimal like that? We're going to Get the A by itself, so we go in the calculator, shift A or inverse A, second, second shift A, whatever you have in your calculator, that's going to turn out to a single A. So angle A up there in orange, which is what we're looking for, is going to equal, and then press degrees, shift degrees minutes seconds, or shift DMS, depending on your calculator. And the angle A, the final answer will be... Take a minute to check out our website at http colon forward slash forward slash www.vividmaths.com. You'll find additional resources, cheat sheets, transcripts, and other maths videos that are not available on YouTube. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to get access to all the written answers for your maths questions plus other special offers.